it's a total write down of four point eight billion dollars uh, operating losses and write downs. Bleak first quarter earnings reports for three of the major players in Canada's energy sector. But there is optimism that as the world recovers from COVID-19, so will the economic engine that drives Alberta and in many ways the rest of Canada. But make no mistake, the numbers are staggering. Vermilion Energy posts a loss of $1.3 billion. Husky Energy is down $1.7 billion and Synovus dropped $1.8 billion. Vermilion, which is a very international company, 75% of the total write down they took came against their Canadian assets, showing that we've got some unique challenges here in Western Canada. The companies are taking different steps to protect themselves by continuing to cut production and capital spending, suspending dividends and rolling back salaries. The federal program to deal with orphan and abandoned wells that was announced a few days ago, the entire program was $1.7 billion. So Huskies cut more capital than the entire federal program. So these are big cuts. They result in uh, layoffs for many contractors who are expecting that money to come in this year. And it just flows through the whole value chain in Western Canada, across Canada. But Masson and others remain optimistic that COVID-19 is a temporary problem and any return to normalcy will see the sector bounce back to near pre-pandemic levels. We have, you know, at least a 30% reduction in demand for gasoline and jet fuel right now because we're all staying home. But we're starting to hear the economies in the US and Canada talking about how we're gonna reopen which can lead to more travel, more demand for those products several months from now. It's just a matter of getting there. So if we can help them with a federal program or something like that, that, that provides liquidity to get them a few months uh, through this downturn, we expect prices to rebound and then we can see, uh, you know, return to profits, return to jobs. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.